All right, it's chip of the day. People love chip of the day. We have an oldie today. We have a CD 4001. 4001. Um, although this data sheet is dated 2002, so these things are still being produced. A lot of people still use them for various things. Um, so this is a full CMOS part, not like the 7400 series, which is TTL. This is actually CMOS, and uh, it allows you to have uh, uh, lower and higher voltages and uh, much, much lower power consumption. The part that we're going to be taking a look at, this is a dual data sheet for the 4011 and the 4001. We're going to be looking at this part. And uh, this is a, a NAND gate, so it is a... Uh, um, if you think about this one, it's a NOR gate, okay? But also a NOR uh, with De Morgan's theorem uh, looks like this. So it is a... It is a not not AND gate, so uh, so uh, this could be think could be thought of as a not not AND gate or a NOR gate, either one. And then this is a NAND gate or a not not OR gate. Okay, so a not not OR gate would be the same thing. Okie dokie. Um, it says here. It can operate from three volts to 15 volts. Okay, so that's its its nice claim to fame. It's got this wide range, plus it's super, super low current. Um, these are buffered parts. I talked about that in another video. Uh, it has an extra layer of circuitry to buffer the input from the output so they don't talk to one another. So. Um, they have these labeled wrong. This is actually the part that we have. This is the uh, this is the NOR gate, and this is the AND gate. And the way that you the way that you can tell is on the input. You can see that the plus comes into so so the outputs are both the same. This is a push pull output. This is a buffer for the push pull outputs. So this is like a two stage thing, and this one has the same thing. So it's the inputs that are differently. So this one has this uh, gate gate. So they both have to be on. So that's a, an AND function. And here they are uh, uh, side by side. So either one can work. So that's an OR function. So it's AND function, OR function. OK, uh, I say we just play with it. Um, lots of things in the data sheet. I always encourage people to read the data sheets. But I thought uh, we will learn something today, which might be an interesting circuit for people to play with. Uh, let's go over here. Change my camera a bit. Um, so I have. Let me let me draw you what I have here. Okay. So I have. Uh, I have switch. Um, I'll draw it like this. Switch. And so I have. Oops, you can't see that. I'm over here. I have a, a switch. And these are tied to plus V. And so these are the, the little push, buddy, push and button things, ground and ground. And so we take these outputs here. So normally it's going to be low, low. And if you push a button, that goes high. Push this button, that goes high. OK. And then that's going to run into our NOR gate. OK. So that's what we have here. We have a. Uh, 10K pull down, 10K pull down, and then switches that make it go high. So um, if you have, um, it's an OR function. So it's one or the other, and they're both low, so it's neither, but it's an, it's an not condition. So the not condition is it's uh, uh, also think of it as a, a low, low AND gate, a not, not AND gate. So we have not, not, and it's it's ANDed, and they're both together, and that's on. And then uh, basically, if either this one or this one or both, you have a low condition. So that's the, that is the OR condition, either that one or that one or that one. And it's low true on the output, so it goes away. All right, so that's self-explanatory, but I wired a little circuit over here that might be more fun today. And I have my my, uh, my NOR gate, all right? 
and I have one side go into ground I have 10k and on this side all right I have I have this all right and this is also 10k and this is a 0.01 microfarad so uh, if this is low it's going to come around here and feed it back and it'll charge this up and finally make it high and then this will go uh, 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 high again so it'll flip flop because it's an inverting function okay uh, it will act as an oscillator. So is that true? And there we go. Look at that. Look at that. It's oscillating. All right. So you say, okay, well, that's boring. Yeah, but here's the cool part. And this is the, the circuit that you might be interested in, especially if you're into, um, maybe you're into music uh, or maybe you're into uh, face lock loops. Um, and you need a voltage controlled oscillator. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the voltage onto the part. Well, I have five volts right now. So it's swinging between, it's swinging five volts. Now, if I raise it, the, it'll go higher. Okay. Cause I'm, I've got more voltage. Now I've got, uh, here's seven and a half volts. Okay. And then I'm going to bring it back down to five volts. I'm just changing VCC. And now I'm going to go down to four volts. You can see the lower the voltage, the lower the frequency. And the higher the voltage, the higher the frequency. So that's kind of a real poor man's, uh, poor man's VCO. Wee, 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 wee. Yeah, so you can go up here very, 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 very big. Let me put it back there. There we go. I'll go up to the 15 volts maximum. Oh. Uh, let's get our trigger back here. There we go. Let's go all the way to 15 volts. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, uh, let me use my mouse. Oops. And I'll turn on a counter. And we'll turn this on. And turn that off. Let's break this out and I can take my little box here. I can take my little box here and I can move it over. There we go. I'll move it right here. All right. So at 15 volts, we have one megahertz. Uh, let's go to 12 volts. At 12 volts, we have that. 10 volts, we got that. Five volts, keep it going. Five volts, we got nothing because it's not triggering. There we go, we got that. And then at three volts, it'll operate down to three volts. Uh, three volts is there. It's, uh, let's bump this up a bit and trigger. There we go. So. 28 kilohertz all the way up to megahertz, right? So, yeah, it's a nice, uh, it's kind of a nice uh, VCO. I didn't think about doing it this way. Okay, anyway. And I'm sure you can play around with different values here. I don't know what the range would be, but I just kind of picked these because they're my favorite values because <laughs> I got a big reel of them. Uh, but anyway, that was the chip of the day a CD 4001.